I think many of you know what time it is. It is time for Hatriot Mail. If Ayn Rand and Ronald Reagan had a baby and suckled that child off the teat of liberty, its cries would sound a little something like Patriot Mail. Written by patriots who hate David Pakman. Right. Because America. And because freedom. I apologize for the language, but I have no choice but to let you know that today's edition of Patriot Mail is what we have dubbed the posh faggot edition. Posh faggot edition of Patriot Mail. You will very shortly understand why. I'm sorry, David, but the way you story tell your bullshit with an unwavering social justice warrior smartass tone and language to it f***ing brings me to tears about you. Your show has me just thinking how much I want to fly kick you in your smug pansy ass face. Nice two minute regurgitation introduction which did nothing but put your vomit inducing spin. Could have said what happened in like 10 seconds, <laughs> but you had to hog all the attention, you boring posh faggot. How the f do people like you have any voice platform? It's just a matter of time before channels like yours get swamped by actual quality programming. Whenever people say that, that anytime our channel is going to be swamped or replaced, uh, I don't know that people understand the logistics of how this show exists, which is that no, we're not up for replacement. In other words, we might end the show or people might no longer listen to the show. But the idea that any second some executives are going to be replacing us, Lewis, it's fascinating to me that people think that that's the way it could be. But at the same time, it's, it's very disconnected from reality. Would those executives be our, our Jewish puppet masters? Uh, according to some, they would, which is, of course, another theory that since I am Jewish, clearly I am part of some kind of Jewish conspiracy cabal that is in specific and minute control of the program. Oh, there it is. That's uh, Hatriot Mail for today.